Hey guys, it's Kevin McHale, and I'm here today with the cast of our newest show, Hairspray. So let me introduce y'all them. So tell me about your uh, part. Oh. <laughs> We're um, that I'm part. Alyssa McBroom, and I am Tracy Turnblad. I'm <laughs> Justice Keith, and I'm Dwayne. I'm Cartavia Smith, and I'm Gilbert. I'm Elizabeth Guider, and I'm Vilma Von Tussle. I'm Nyla Bloomfield, and I'm a dynamite and, and dance captain. My name is Eli Danner, and I'm Wilbur. Hi, I'm Xander Newsom, and I'm Edna Turnblad. Wow, what a collection of <laughs> names. These are interesting. I can't wait for the show, honestly. So let me ask somebody, what is Hairspray really about for the people that don't know what Hairspray is? So Hairspray is a musical, and it takes place in 1963. She is all for integration. And so she auditions to get on the show, and she wants to make it integrated. Can and you, so, can you explain what a musical is for the people that don't know? A musical is a a live play where you will sing and dance. Awesome! That sounds fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow! So live play where you sing and dance. So can someone tell me like the rehearsal process? So how do you rehearse for something like that? Um, I got that. Um, it's. The rehearsal process can expand from dancing to singing. Um, the first couple months of our rehearsal process, we focused a lot on music. So we mm. broke down the music parts, just like how you would do in a choir class. Mm -hmm. um, and then we performed them on stage after a couple months, and we started blocking. Blocking is this is a form of acting where you go on stage and you basically place each person how you would like to see it on stage and you create a tableau which is a pretty picture of what the audience would see. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. That sounds so interesting. So while doing all that, what is like one of y'all's favorite part of either like the rehearsal or a part you're really looking forward to in the show? Justice. I think just seeing it all come together and all the hard work that everyone's been doing to help it come together is just really amazing to see. Mm -hmm. I mean, at first it didn't sound the best or look the best because <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, but like now that we're fully running this show, you can like really see how it's going to, you know, make an impact on the black men community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Speaking of community, so rehearsing and doing all that good stuff, I'm guessing you interact with a lot of people all the time. So how's the community on stage or like off stage just between the cast and crew? Um, I think that the community overall is, is really amazing because although sometimes you have your ups and downs through every community, I think it's bound to happen. Um, but in the end it really shows uh, how everyone can just come together and just tell a story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think there definitely is a beauty um, just within the theater world of creating a family, like not, e not just on stage, but behind, this, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you're acting together, you're there from sun up to sundown sometimes. Like we're here wow. from like, not really sun up to sundown. <laughs> it feels really, like it, but yes. we're here from like, I think our rehearsals lately have started from like, four o'clock to mm -hmm. nine p.m. so we're here all the time and Every we're day. with each other all the time sometimes we can get sick of each other yeah. but you know <laughs> so you're here a very long time does that interfere with like schoolwork or like how do you juggle being in the show and going to school um we don't really juggle it we just go oh. home and cry <laughs> um but just yeah no just Find time in between rehearsal when you're not doing anything to, you know, do homework or whatever you need to do, mm -hmm. whatever you need to get done. For me, I usually, rehearsal ends at 9, but we usually stay after to help clean up and stuff like that. So really, we leave at like 10.30. Wow. So after I just go home and cry. do homework, I cry <laughs> first, <laughs> then I do all my homework and go to sleep at like 1. So... That's how I juggle my stuff. Yeah. So for someone who's really interested into becoming a theater student and getting into the theater world, how would you like say what is the easiest part about it or 
if someone is afraid about memorizing or dropping their lines on stage, what are like some ideas you'd give them to memorize their lines? Lucy? <laughs> um, I'd say just go over the scene over and over. That's how I do it. I've heard of other methods where people write down the first letter of mm. every word in their line. Oh. So. First letter of every word in their line. Yeah. That is very nice. So I'm guessing that the set for Hairspray is huge, right? Oh, yeah. It's huge it's with huge. many different yeah. scenes. So what do y'all like, what's your experiences with the set or how do y'all get around the set? <sighs> I think you honestly just pray that you don't <laughs> fall into something. Wow. Um, <laughs> these blackouts are actually insane. You know, blackout is where all the lights go out and you're changing the scene into something else. Um, the other day I tripped over a whole thing and like got a whole bunch of bruises. So, you know, you just pray you don't fall. But, Cortavius, what do you I've got to say? I've gotten my foot ran over three times <laughs> on by the set and um, it's not okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, speaking of the set and all that good stuff, you are in costume all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So what does, what's the point of a costume in a play? What does it represent? Uh, I'll take that one. Um, so getting down to like technical things, I guess is what I've been up to so far um, with the questions that I'm answering. Uh, so costumes are, like I said earlier, this play takes place in the 1960s. So if you don't look like you're from the 60s, nobody's really going to get it um, besides like the things you're saying. Right. You know what I mean? So by having that costume on, you're kind of teleporting the audience mm -hmm. into that time period yeah. and they're actually getting uh -huh. to experience like what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a perfect answer. I love that. Yes. <laughs> so can someone tell me, like, what's your experiences with the show as we are coming to opening night, which is tomorrow, uh, later on with that information. So tell me, like, your experience with the show, like, how it started or how you feel about it coming to an end. I know for a lot of us it's very bittersweet. Um, there's a lot of seniors in this group of people. Um, and for us, it's bittersweet in the sense of a lot of us have been doing theater for like all four years or three or two years, but like we said earlier, this is a family and yes. we've created a lot of really intentional um, relationships and yeah, we're going to have a lot of tears, but you know. <laughs> like, yeah. But as they say, everything good comes to an end, right? right? I think that's how it goes. Right. So, as we're finishing this off, when are the show dates and times that we should come in? I will do that. Um, <laughs> May, so Thursday, no, not May, <laughs> it's not May, no, no. Um, March. This month is March. This yes. weekend, Yes. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday shows start at 7, and then Sunday is our matinee, which is at 2 p.m. Does anybody want to give those dates? Because I don't know. The, the 14th March. through the 17th. That's March 14th, March 15th. 15th. <laughs> do y'all have That's a show March on 15th, Saturday? 16th, we do. Okay. 17th. That is yeah. right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And tickets are $5 for students and yes. kids 5 and under. I think so. And $15 yeah. for adults and parents. Yes, and then there is a teacher night where you can come for free. Yeah, yes. it's okay. We don't care about that. <laughs> March 14th, teachers So you heard it here, guys. Night. So here's a little bit of the behind the scenes of the show and how it's going. And we would really like to see you there and enjoy the show with us. So we'll see you there.